Professor Nagisha Rao, Vice Chancellor, IGNO. Sir, I am grateful to you. You have given me homework. Two books have been given to me. I love to study and report. Professor Uma Kanjilal, Vice, Pro Vice Chancellor, IGNO. Professor Satyakam, Pro Vice Chancellor, IGNO. Members of the Board of Management, Pro Vice Chancellors, Registrars, Directors, Distinguished Academicians, Distinguished Members of the Faculty, Esteemed Guests, Graduating Students, Physically Present and also in Virtual Mode. Esteemed Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen. Truly an honor, an unforgettable moment to be part of the 37th Convocation of Prestigious IGNO. People will be baffled. Degrees are being awarded to over 300,000 students. 300,000, 3 lakh students. The student population, 3.5 million. Unprecedented at global level. Unique university, the best of its kind in the world. <laughs> Alumni touching 4 million. Amazing power. They only have to unleash it. Taken together, students and alumni, 7.5 million. If alumni contribute, three rupees a day, it will be more than one crore a day. Imagine their power. I appeal to the alumni, at least do this much and much more. I extend my heartfelt congratulations to the graduating students their family members, their teachers, and their friends. Your hard work, dedication, and perseverance, these have brought you this significant milestone. I commend each one of you for your achievements. Like me, for you also, this is a moment to be ever cherished. Friends, convocation is much beyond a ceremony. We have felt it. We feel the vibes of it right here. It is a milestone in all your lives. A moment unforgettable. It marks culmination of years of hard work and sleepless nights. I don't want to reflect the kind of threshing you may have received at the hands of faculty, but you will Pleasantly remember that all your life that has strengthened you. Friends, this moment is also a turning page in the chapter that has so far been your life at the university. You will move beyond this chapter, leaving behind the familiar charm of student life and embrace the exhilarating life of adulthood. I am sure a lot of emotions stay with you. I recall my own days. I can only imagine. Pride in all that you have achieved, anxiety about the future, and heartache of saying goodbye to an institution that you have been part for the past few years. My young friends, let us not solely fixate on the endings for today, it is also a beginning. Today we celebrate not just the completion of a journey, but the ignition of new aspirations Always bear in mind, your learning never stops. Friends, you are fortunate, you are lucky to step into adulthood at exciting times, our Amrit Kal, where there is hope and possibility of all kinds. There is a place and ecosystem that is wholesome for exploring your talent and realizing your aspirations. 
Let me admit to the launchpad that all of you are presently standing on. And this is a very significant launchpad in the history of this great nation that has civilizational depth of 5,000 years. You are henceforth part of Marathon March to Vikshit Bharat at 2047. Your, la your launch pad is a mission, Bharat at 2047. Friends, governments once shrouded in shadows now embraces transparency and accountability. Corruption once been of the system has now yielded to river flow. Now all without exception are subject to accountability before law. All this has paved the way for your aspirations to truly take flight and dreams to fortify. Friends on the economic front, our story is one of remarkable dynamism, negotiating difficult terrain and tough changes, challenges we have traversed from being a fragile five global economy, a burden to the globe, to the glorious status of being the fifth largest global economy. Your ambitions can now be firmly set as we are on move to the third position in global economy in two years or so. The World Bank uploads our material rise in financial inclusion achieved just in six years when others projected, mind my words, others projected decades. The IMF Health India as a global investment hotspot, acknowledging the immense opportunities we offer. And friends, our projected GDP growth, it doubled the global average. It speaks volumes about economic vitality and its robust premise. Friends, our still transcends mere numbers. It lies in the power of collective action. We are now the third largest powerhouse in terms of purchasing power, showcasing the combined potential we hold. Just imagine, third global purchasing powerhouse, our Bharat. Our resilient financial ecosystem fueled by an inclusive digital payment system has become a global model. Not only do we use it, we export it. Never imagined. I was a member of parliament in 1989 and a union minister. It was beyond my imagination, beyond my dreams. I dared not think what we are, I am seeing as a crown reality at the moment. Indians can now transact using UPI, our UPI, UPI evolved by Bharat in seven countries and UPI transactions alone in 2022 accounted nearly half of the global digital transactions. Friends, we are not just consumers, we are innovators and leaders in this domain. We even surpass per capita mobile data consumption of China and the USA taken together. This is mobile magic. Our aspirations, friends, extend beyond the Earth's boundaries. The momentous success of Chandrayaan 3, marking our historic soft landing on the moon's south pole, it exemplifies our relentless pursuit of scientific and technological advancements. We now celebrate August 23 as Space Day. Gone are the days. And mark my words, people of my age know it. Gone are the days when a bicycle was used to carry parts of our first rocket launch. Today we have launched over 400 sat satellites of other countries, developed countries, including USA and Singapore. Friends, reflect and take pride in what truly makes our Bharat so special. Firstly, we stand tall in the Committee of Nations with a civilizational legacy of over 5,000 years, a rich tapestry of knowledge and wisdom that guides our present and shapes our future. Secondly, 
we are the largest and most functional democracy in the world, demonstrating our commitment to inclusivity and participation. I'm not taking you to figures, but imagine if 500 million people have opened their accounts for the first time, making inclusion of the highest order ever on the planet. If 100 million free gas connections have been given to needy households, a record that can never be matched by others. These are just two figures, there can be many. This spirit of inclusivity resonates globally. The unprecedented G20 summit held in New Delhi stands as a testament to our leadership. Imagine G20 footprint was there in all the states, in all the union territories of the country. A remarkable geographical achievement other nations can only look up to. From engaging more states and union territories across the nation, and then look at the achievements, to inducting the African Union as a member of G20, it was done in Bharat. And launching the Global Biofuel Alliance, it was done here. India emerged as the voice of Global South for the first time. Such an important segment of the planet was not being noticed. It is now being noticed day in and day out. So dear friends, you are not just entering life, but rocketing towards it. All of you are graduating into India that is on the rise. India that has shaken off the label of a sleeping giant. India's rise is continual, incremental, unstoppable. We are no longer the nation that defined its potential. We are a nation realizing its potential. We are a nation enabling global powers to realize their potential. We are a nation that is defining how human resource potential can be exploited. See this incredible momentum, harness is the transparency, leverage economic boom, and turn the opportunities into your personal masterpieces. What do you must need? They need a system which is free from corruption. Corruption has gone for good. Corruption is no longer password to a contract or to a recruitment process. Helps all of you brilliantly. All are equal before law. Some thought at one point of time they are about law. The law cannot ease them. They are immunity from law. They are feeling heat of law day in and day out because democracy cannot survive. Democracy cannot breathe unless there is equality before law, in fact and in law. Now, equality before law is a ground reality, writing on the wall for one and all. Friends, as we navigate the contemporary scenario, we are witnessing an extraordinary infrastructure growth, widespread technological penetration, rapid pace of digitization, and a commitment to transparent and economic governance, accountable governance. Imagine if you choose to work from home, your house in the village is as well equipped as your house in a modern metro. All the facilities you look for are available in the villages. That is the kind of development this country has seen in last decade. Our scientific progress has not only earned India knowledge, but has transformed the lives of ordinary citizens and has fueled our aspirations for a brighter and more sustainable future. We stand at a new dawn, an Amrit Kaal, where India soars to even greater heights. Our government has shown the seeds of opportunity and growth, pouring its heart and resources into nursing fertile ground for our collective future, and particularly for our young minds, boys and girls, who are before me today in large number, virtually and physically. Friends, as India strives towards becoming the world's third largest economy, our young minds, the minds before me, the minds I am connected today, an occasion I never dreamt in my life that I will be connecting from this platform about 3.5 million people being students. If I count their friends and families, it will run into several millions. 
we should now engage to explore a vast landscape of possibilities unburdened by the shackles of narrow definitions of success. I appeal to in minds, don't be carried away by competitive mechanism, competition bug, obsession to hold a government position. Enormous opportunities are now available to you. You just have to look and explore. You will be extremely successful. These will be rewarding for you. Grab these opportunities. They will suit your aptitude. They will fulfill your inclinations. Go ahead in that direction. My young friends, note the difference that was wrote there when me and mother, others were students. You are lucky. You have enabling policies and initiatives for creating a space where every dream holds value, where individuality thrives, and where success is measured not by societal yardsticks but by deep personal fulfillments. Let me just divert and indicate to you. Examine our startups. Startups are by young minds, boys and girls. They have created wonders at global level. They have changed the economic landscape of this country. Their contribution in economy is immeasurable. They are setting new trends. You have to take the lead when you step out in the larger world. Let go of the obsession with traditional path. We are too tied to it. Let us uncircle from the traditional path. Let us be innovative. Let us think out of the box. If you have a dream in mind, you have an idea in your mind, don't make your idea a parking place mind. No. Execute it. Don't fear failure. Failures are natural. Failures are success in, success in stone. Success is step towards further success. A failure is a success story. It's not a failed attempt. It's an attempt which is essential to secure success. Just reflect, Chandrayaan 3 would not have been there if Chandrayaan 2 had not gone to that extent. Chandrayaan 2 was not a failure. It was majorly success. Chandrayaan 3 fructified it. Instead of competition, let collaborations be our guiding principle. Let us support each other, share our talent and lift each other up as we embark on this exciting journey. Friends, let me tell you, we get into crazy mode. Our parents feel it. Prepare for an examination. The slots are limited. The ratio is turning out to be one, one into thousand or more. Why? What is special there? The world has to be changed when you avail opportunities that are absolutely novel, innovative. They will be game changers. If I invite your attention to disruptive technologies, they will dominate our lifestyles. These are fresh areas. India is one of the few nations in the world. The nations are not in double digit, which is focusing so heavily on quantum computing, green hydrogen mission, artificial intelligence, blockchain, machine learning, all these are areas where young minds have to contribute. If you will take lead, you will make yourself a successful person. Your family proud. You will contribute to the nation as never before. And you will be true soldiers of Bharat taking its march to 2047. Friends, you are stepping into a world that is fast changing and changing every moment. No one heard of disruptive technologies a decade ago. Look where we are at the moment. No one heard of mobile three decades ago. Everyone uses it. You therefore have to be extraordinary, innovative. You have to be on your own. You have to be driven by your own inclination, your own thought process. Do not be guided by old age concept. Oh, this position will give me societal power. No, things have dramatically changed. Take note of that. Friends, Internet of Things, analytics, automation, machine learning, blockchain, augmented reality, artificial intelligence, quantum computing, these are your subjects, not mine. You are in the front line. You are as good as your faculty. 
If not more, your faculty only has to initiate you. You have to lead the path. You have to be global leaders of Bharat, which is home to one sixth of humanity. Friends, always remember: true progress lies not in conforming, but in daring to be different. It lies in following your passion, in charting your own course, and in leaving your unique mark on the world. Friends, look at history. 100 years, 200 years, 1000 years. Future belongs to those who dare to dream beyond the ordinary. And you are not ordinary. You all are extraordinary. Those who are present here and those who are in virtual attendance. So friends, as you step into this new chapter, I urge you embrace your individuality, pursue your passions and redefine success on your own terms. My dear students, Bharat eagerly awaits your contributions, your new perspectives, and your innovative ideas. Believe in yourself and your capabilities. I can assure you. I can ensure you. Your capability, competency, and academic accomplishments, and your knowledge. You are best in the world. Are my words? I have seen the globe. I see destiny of Bharat in your eyes. You are the most significant stakeholders in governance and rise of Bharat. You are Bharat, as a matter of fact. You are Bharat of the present. You will shape Bharat what it will be in 2047. You will do it because you alone can do it. You are the most significant stakeholders, and you have to ensure the growth trajectory of our development, which is continually incremental. Is not only sustained but taken to great heights. Friends, I encourage each and every one of you to be fearless in the pursuit of your dreams. I can reveal to you, I am product of education. I thought differently. I went my own way. I was admitted to IIT Kharagpur. I didn't go there. You have to do what you think you are best for. Go in that direction. Do not let your mind, as I indicated earlier, become a parking place for doubts, insecurities, and much less great ideas. Clean your mind, your parking space daily. Throw what is not good, execute what is good without fear. Instead, let it be a platform for your imagination and creativity. Remember, some of the greatest innovations and breakthroughs have come from individuals who dare to think differently, who fearlessly challenged the status quo. One status quo is coaching classes. That is status quo. That is not intellect exposition. That is not temple of knowledge. That is entry into the desire of being status quo. Yes, I get into that position. I get into civil service. The society will look up to me. Things have changed. Those who got into these services are drafting into new areas, starting startups, engaging into agriculture, marketing of milk and vegetables. You therefore take your own course. Let it be a catalyst for growth and self-discovery. Friends, together let us build an Amrit Kal where every dream takes flight, and where the true potential of our youth illuminates. The path to a bright, brighter tomorrow. Congratulations and may your journey be filled with purpose, passion, and fulfillment. I am making a special request to the Vice Chancellor. I would happy to receive as many of you as you can make it possible to visit new, parla new Parliament building as my guest. Thank you so much. Thank you.